Now listen, we must learn to use our eyes for vision and our heart for perception. It's so important for each one of us to wake up to our oneness. We are one in essence, in actuality. We're not two independent individual selves, but we're one essence manifesting individually. Fully interdependent, these individual selves are fully interdependent upon one another and the universe, dude. Like, consider for a second, if you were to take away all the trees, then you are gone. Even right now, around the world, our planet is suffering and oxygen. We're losing our ability to breathe as easily as we could because we're out there just removing trees. Or if we remove mushrooms, or if we continue to go the direction that we're going with rape in the land just for food, we, we're, we're forgetting our interdependence upon one another and upon the universe, dude. Like, everything in this universe is sacred. And we're really interdependent upon all of it. And when we work in harmony with it, it's so beautiful. When we work in disharmony, chaos is there. The world that you're presently living in or that is presently manifesting is chaotic because chaos exists in these inter in this independent self. In other words, the self that we believe we are, uh, chaos is manifesting in these individual selves. And as a result, it's manifesting outwardly in the world in disharmony. But when inside this individual self, we realize we're not actually individual but that we're one, that we're one in essence, then these individual selves are no longer, and now what we have is we're manifesting as an inter, inter, interdependent self. In other words, we can still manifest in this unique way, but we're real. the realization of our oneness, of our interdependence, of the necessity upon one another, and the universe is within. And so now harmony starts to work. We're honoring nature, and we're honoring one another in the unique design. We're honoring one another in the unique manifestation. Because there is no, uh, there's no fucking liberal or Republican or conservative and Democrat in this divine essence. The world is trying, this cha the chaotic world of, the manifest chaotic world of, in, of the individual self is trying to divide us from one another. And I'm simply here to remind you right now that we are one. That there is no you and I, but that we are one. It's so vital that we open our eyes and see the beauty and the perfection of our union right now. There is no male and female. We are one. There is no homo and hetero. We are one. There is no black and white. We are one. There's no black lives matter and white lives matter and all lives matter. No, there's just one life, one beautiful organism of life. And it's not even manifesting just in these personalities, these individual personalities, but it's also manifesting in the, in the, in the beautiful flowers of the field and the trees and the birds that fly through the air and the animal, the flesh that we're partaking of, the fruit that we pick from the tree. I have this pear tree right out back, dude. And I, when I eat a pear, when I grab a pear off that tree or we're buying property and I want to grab an apple off, that, off the apple tree and I eat it, I'm so thankful for the nutrients. Like I am participating in, in myself. I'm literally eating. This body is bringing in, in some way, the essence and nutrients of, self, of the divine self. And it's a, it's a give and a take with the universe. And it's beautiful. I am participating, I'm taking, but I'm also going to give back. I'm giving back, first of all, in honor. But then I also give back, not just in a verbalized honor, thank you for giving me life, but I give back to the earth, to the ground, by tending it and taking care of it and loving it. I give back to the tree by pruning it, by caring for it. I want each one of us, and my heart's desire at the end of the day has always been for everyone to realize our divine union and the perfection of this union. And uh, man, 
man, it's so fun living in this union when there's no you and me, when you really have the eyes to see with the heart that we're all one. Everything shifts, dude. Everything changes. And so election season's coming. I just want to encourage you right now to realize that as you go out and you vote, I don't personally vote, but as you go out and vote, um, don't, don't think liberal and conservative. Don't think, oh, just no. I, I want to encourage you to see all as yourself. And we might have differing perspectives, but they're all beautiful. You're not right, any more right than I am. And I'm no more right than you are. And our perspectives, while they may differ, are beautiful. And we need to come together in honor and love for one another. And stop all the, the chaotic manifestations. And let's start manifesting harmony. So listen, man, I, this is just an encouraging talk. I love you. Uh, how can I not love you? Because when I look into your eyes, I see myself. If a handful of years ago, people were attacking me. Well, they, they do a lot still, too. But they were attacking me online, slandering me, and saying all kinds of things, trying to destroy my stuff. And I was approached by... A lawyer who said, hey, do you want to sue um, for liability? Because it had cost my family lots of actual money. And I said, no, nah, man. I said, I, yeah, no, nah, I can't sue him. If I sue him, it would be to sue myself. I would never sue myself. See, we're one. Your enemy is only your enemy because you haven't yet realized you're one. Have a beautiful day, guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.